What's going on, y'all? It's been a while. Rough week it's been. But today I'm bringing you an app review. This app is called Ariel. Claim Spaces is from Chris Anderson. You might know him if you're familiar with this channel because of my video on Taskbar X, his infamous taskbar tool, which basically allows you to center your icons and kind of move your taskbar icons anywhere you want. Just kind of give you more freedom in terms of customizing your taskbar on Windows 10. But today, like I said, is his app, Ariel, which was actually suggested to me uh, by another viewer of mine. And we're going to take a look at it. We're going to see how well it works. And just from the top, Ariel pretty much allows you to claim spaces uh, pretty much anywhere around your Windows desktop where you normally, when you go full screen, it takes up the whole screen. Uh, Ariel allows it so that way the system knows to not take up a certain amount of pixel space. That way you can reserve that space for widgets, icons, and other things that you want to use. So let's say you want to put your icon decorated around the border. You can do that with this application. So let's take a look and see how well it works. This is Ariel. So here it is. This is, well, this is Ariel. Uh, there's not much to see. This video is probably going to be really short, but Ariel, like I said in the intro, is an app that kind of allows you to, I guess the, he says, claim spaces on your desktop. Now, this is just going to be a you know, straight through review just to see how well it works. And I've, I have a little scenarios that I tested out beforehand to see if it worked. And I'll tell you right now, in fact, I'm just going to hold off for that. Uh, one thing I wish the developer will do right off the bat, though, even though there's only a very few amount of utilities you can do in this application, is if when I resize it, just make sure, make, I would hope that the, um, the fields would resize too, or just something subtle. Maybe the text can get bigger or something if that's possible, but I'm not a developer. I'm just a designer, but going back here, let me just make it normal size again. So this is Arial. And uh, you can see I've already typed in a few things here. Now, the idea of this app is you claim your spaces. Now, I said that a lot, but I didn't actually explain what that actually means. And now, what that actually means as of this current version means that whatever resolution your computer monitor is running in right now, and my monitor currently is running 1920 by 1080. So your monitor may vary. If you're running 8K, it's going to be different. Uh, if you're running 720p, it's going to be different. If you're running 5120 by 1440, like my true resolution is, then it's going to be different. 2560 by 1440, it'll be different. But I'm right now running it in 1080p, just for the sake of recording videos easily. And looking at it, so when I go full screen, you're going to see I have you know this thing here. And this is actually the guy who told me about this thing. But here's his website for Chris. Uh, you can see this overlay stays up here. You can move it out of the way. This is Arial. So you can kind of see that my full screen is, you know, with the window at full screen maximized, you see how much space it takes up. You can't really see my background. Now, if I check off everything here, actually, you know what? Just for a quick example, if I just check off this and I pre-typed in 200, but I'll type in 50. This is fix 50 pixels, if I'm correct. Now I hit apply and you see that I have, in fact, saved 50 pixels above this window it is still in full screen because look if I tap to the above you can see that outline right there on Windows that shows that that's how big full screen is which means Windows has reserved 50 pixels above a maximized window for whatever it is I want to show so let's say I have a live wallpaper that is like for Stardock you know I have Stardock curtains and stuff like that it's not running right now but for Stardock you can have a bunch of live wallpapers and things like that as you can see there if you have a clock up here that's always showing so you don't have to look down at the windows clock in the tiny corner here you can do that you'll be able to see that clock showing full front and center right there you know a lot of things don't work too well but i'll get to that um another thing so if i want to increase that pixelage to maybe 200 200 pixels on a 1920 by 1080p display you can see there 200 pixels above. This is 200 pixels right there on my screen that is free for the wallpaper to bleed through. Now, I've only shown you using this thing with the top part, uh, the, the top 200 pixels. Now, let me lower it just a little bit. Let's say I want to do, 
I don't know, 150 pixels there, and I want to go to the right and reserve 100, and the left, let's reserve 100, and I'll check these two off as well and hit apply. So then you see right there, you see 100, 200 on top, and 100 there. So it makes it feel a lot different. So now when you see here, if I try to snap the window and I try to snap this window here, I've reserved 200 pixels on top and 100 on each side as just space to use for other things. Now, this is where I get to the gripes. And before I even do that, I'll do the bottom one just to demonstrate that you can, in fact, do the bottom and it does work. So there you go. That's the bottom two. You can see it's kind of messing up already. So let me hit apply again and see if it can fix itself. There we go. So it fixed itself now. So you can see I reserved all the space around 50 below, 100 on each side and 200 on top or 150 on top. You can see it's even having trouble trying to figure out what's going on already. In fact, I could have possibly slightly broken it a little bit. So let me let me do this for a second and try to close them out. There we go. So you can see I've already reserved that space right there and you can see it's not perfect. It's kind of buggy, um, but it does work when it needs to work and for the most part. But um, one of the things that I don't like is I have Stardock curtains running package manager running. So if I double tap here, you're going to see you, you well, you should see folders pop up here and it looks like it's not really showing up that well right now. I'm not exactly sure why, but the point being, right now the folder showed up. Normally they don't show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the right, and that means that my window can go whatever direction. You can see all of my icons and everything. The folders are showing up now, but this is what I've reserved now, all this corner here, this C. Now if I click this again, normally what happens to me is I can't see these, but it looks, see, right there. See, it's kind of blurring it out. I don't know why. I don't know if whether it's an incompatibility with Stardock stuff, but that's one of the niche things that you'll do if you want to use this application is you might have something running, a third-party icon manager running, like Stardock curtains and, you know, all of Stardock's applications, object desktop, desk tapes, and the fences is really what I'm using right now is the fences application. Um, and... Sometimes it just covers it up or it blurs it up because it's not, I don't know, it's not showing up correctly. And I don't, again, I don't know if it's an incompatibility, but it's confusing. And me being a very tech savvy person to be able to record these videos, I kind of want it things to work. And so this doesn't look good to me at all. I'm a, I'm a designer. This doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to uncheck the right side thickness. And because of that, I'm going to uncheck the left side thickness just to make everything normal again. So I'm going to actually uncheck all of these things here, get things working back to normal. And now you see all of my icons are back. Now, the nice thing with Stardock, this is not an app. I mean, this is not an app review for that, but I can double tap and I can clear my entire you know, side view here and no one will ever see anything. So it's pretty dope. So I'm going to go back to full screen. You see just like that, it loads again. So what he did in his demo was he showed, you know, just changing resolutions. Boom, you get the bottom there. And then uh, let's say I want to do the right. Boom, you get the right there. In fact, I'm going to lower the right to 50 as well. I'm going to do 50 all around, 50 here on the left, and I'm going to do 50 on top just so I have an even 50 on all the sides. Hit apply. And now it looks like my window that is maximized is looks like it's minimized a little bit it just looks like it's shrunk a little bit but it's actually still full screen because you can tell that if i do this you can see the outlines being 50 50 and 50 and 50 on each side so it's a nice it's a nice application if you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing i really wouldn't i really would not ever touch this application i feel like more taskbar x is a much better application to use if you're not super tech savvy but you can but you know your way around the computer to fix things if something goes wrong but this application will will confuse you i i, I kid you not it will confuse you in terms of what you can do with that extra sp excess space because another thing if i double tap my screen and i try to get my icons back you see that because i have all of my icons back on all the sides here you can see that they are also pushed in by 50 pixels so it's not just windows that are maximized that can go 50 pixels if i do this it's all of my windows are covered up and it doesn't look right at all in fact let me close off uh let me close off the object desktop right here let me exit object desktop right there and close that out so it just doesn't look right 
it really doesn't let me remove the fence right there it doesn't look right my icons are behind this window and if i pull away you can see the icons are there and you'll see one thing too if i pull to this side and let's say it's the left side that these things are left and top and i hit apply you'll see that my icons should yep see they re go back to the corners right there which means that the icons are also affected by this thing, which is kind of annoying because there's nothing else you can really do to fix it unless you probably turn off this sort by and then you make it so that way, where is it here? There you go, you go to view, right click, hit view on your desktop and then you auto arrange icons and align to grid. That's probably the only way you'll be able to arrange them yourself to the corners. Otherwise, if you're like me, you just like it to be auto organized like most things, uh, it is not gonna look right, it's gonna cover up everything, which means your thing won't work. But again, for my review, I'm gonna try to create a new scale. I probably won't go with it next app review, but for the scale of buy, buy now, don't buy or eh, it's all right, but only if you're tech savvy, I'm gonna pick eh, it's all right. Only if you're tech savvy, because this will confuse you if you're not tech savvy. It's not a buy now. In fact, it's not a buy now, and it's definitely, it's not a buy, but if you're tech savvy, you might find some use of this thing. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but this is Arial. In fact, let me close out this ad and just double click that to close away my taskbar, my little icons there. But this is Arial from Chris Anderson, if I said it right. You can watch my other video, Taskbar X app review by the same guy that I did a while back. I think it's up to almost like it's over like 10,000 views on that thing alone, which is crazy. So this is Chris's app, Ariel. He's still working on it. He's working on uh, multi-monitor support. Um, and hopefully this feedback, he can think about it. If he is still working on this application, this feedback, he can take it into consideration and see what he can do to make so that way maybe icons don't get affected by it. But rather, or maybe there's a checkoff to maybe say, hey, icons can be part of this. There should be more options is what I say, because I like what Chris is going with this. I like the direction he's going with it to customize windows to whatever you want to do, whether you want to center your bar to the middle, like Mac OS, transparency, everything. I like what he's doing. He should continue doing that. I can see amazing things of him coming. So let's hope for the best. But this is a free application. You can get it for free. Go to Chris's website, Chris Anderson right there. And then you can also see that I'll put it in the description box and it is on the App Store, the Microsoft Store. And as you know, in all my videos, I put put the link to all those apps that I take a look at down below. So let me know any apps that you have for me to take a look at. If you're a developer, if you're not, if you just have some recommendation of an app I should look at, I'd love to take a look at it. And for me, as long as it follows either A, fluent design, which obviously this doesn't, it's not for that purpose, or B, it's Microsoft related, I'll, I'll try to take a look at it because I'm very interested in seeing what's new out there, what people are doing to break the old styling. Oh so yeah, let me stop rambling and I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe out there. I know COVID is increasing now. Stay safe out there and have a good day. Take care, everybody.